Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Agora Cyber Charter School. We're going to be talking about special triangles today. The first special triangle is a 45-45-90 triangle. It's a right angle triangle where the angles are equal to each other, and that also means that the legs here and here are equal to each other. So when we're setting up our Pythagorean theorem, because it is a 90 degree or a right triangle, we can do some neat things with it. Let's take a look at a question with one of those triangles. It says, to find the length of the hypotenuse in a 45-45-90 triangle when one of the shorter legs is 5 centimeters. Well, if one of the shorter legs is 5 centimeters, Uh, hold on. Then the other shorter leg will also be equal to 5 centimeters because as we saw in the previous slide, the two legs are equal in length. So when we set up the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we will set it up and substitute in the value of 5 for both A and B. And 5 squared is 25. 5 squared again is 25. C squared. Wow, that's some uh, seriously messy stuff over here. <laughs> squared. That's a little bit neater. And we'll take the square root of both sides of this equation to help us solve for C. And with the square root of 50, we're going to factor out our perfect square of 25 and 2. What that gives us is that 5 square root of 2 is equal to the length of C. And you'll see that this is a pattern throughout all 45, 45, 90 triangles, that the length of the shorter legs, 5, times the square root of 2 will give you the length of the hypotenuse for any of those triangles. You'll see that pattern as you start solving for more of those triangles. The second special triangle is called a 30, 60, 90. And it has some special characteristics as well. It is half of an equilateral triangle. If you, um, if you draw the other side of this triangle, it makes an equilateral triangle which means that this length is equal to our hypotenuse. So if this full length is equal to the hypotenuse, then what we say here is that the hypotenuse divided by 2, or in half, is equal to that leg. All right, that's what we're going to use to help us solve this question about our special triangle number 2. Let's take a look real quick. We're given the value of this short leg, and we're asked to find the length of C and the length of A. So what we can do, like I said before, this length is half of the hypotenuse. So to solve for the value of C, C is equal to 20 times 2. In other words, C is equal to 40. So we can write that over here. And that's something that you will see among all of the 30, 60, 90 triangles, that uh, the short length is half of the hypotenuse. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to solve c squared equals a squared plus b squared, right, our Pythagorean theorem. We're going to solve for the value of a. So to do that, I will subtract b squared from both sides of this equal sign, cancels it out over there, and that tells me c squared minus b squared is equal to a squared. I want to do that for two reasons. One, because I know the value of c, and I know the value of b, so I can substitute them both in here, and also because I'm trying to solve for a, so I want a isolated by itself on one side of the equal sign. All right. Let's move this up, and we'll go ahead and solve for that. C is equal to 40. B is equal to 20. And we don't know the value of A. So let's 
start multiplying this out. 40 squared is 1,600, 1,600. 20 squared is 400. A squared is still our unknown. We do some subtraction here. And then we're going to take, to solve for A, we take the square root of A squared, which gives us A. And that will, then we take the square root of 1,200. 1,200, we're going to look for some perfect square factors. And 400 times 3 are the factors of 1,200 that are 400 is a perfect square. So now what we can do is take the square root of 400, which is 20, times the square root of 3, and that gives us the value of A. And this is another pattern that you will see with these 30, 60, 90 triangles, that the small leg times the square root of 3 will give you the value of the length of this line here. And just in case that's unclear, that is the square root of 3. There we go. All right? So whatever the length of the shortest side is, times the square root of 3 will give you the length of A. Let's look at two other special triangles. The first one is an isosceles triangle, where the two lengths are the same. Okay, that's the special thing about isosceles triangle. And another triangle that has the same lengths is called an equilateral triangle, where all three sides are the same. Now, we're going to use these triangles to solve for x in this question here. When I have the value of 12 plus x gives me the length of this side, and I have 2x plus 4 gives me the length of this side, what I can do is I can set up an equation 12 plus x is equal to 2x plus 4, because I know the length of both of these sides is the same. So I can set them equal to each other, solve for x, and find the length of the sides. See that? That's how we're going to be using the value of x here. We're going to, or the, um, the special isosceles triangle. So to solve, I'm going to subtract x from both sides of the equal sign. That will cancel out x here. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and that will cancel it out there. 2x minus x will give me x. 12 minus 4 gives me 8. So I know that 8 is equal to x. I can use that information, 8 equals x substitute that into our equation here. 12 plus 8 gives me the value of 20 for this side of the triangle. And 2 times x is 2 times 8 is 16 plus 4 gives me 20 for that side. So I've now solved that both sides of this triangle are 20 units long and 8 is equal to x. So those are the types of things you may be asked, types of questions you may see using these special triangles. Now, when we think about special triangles, we also don't want to forget our unspecial triangle, the poor scalene. Oh, sad, sad. He will never be called special because he has no equal length sides, no equal angles. The poor thing is just always forgotten. So we want to take a moment of silence to remember our scalene triangles. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.